In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the difference between GoPro's time lapse and time warp. Your first option is time warp video. A time warp video is the same as a hyperlapse video. You want to do this when your camera is moving. For example, when you're driving, hiking, mountain biking, or any activity where you and the camera are in motion. The time warp feature will create one easy, ready to use file for editing or sharing. In the past to create these types of shots, you would create a series of images and use programs like After Effects to stabilize the images and then use frame blending to make a smooth final video. GoPro now does all this in camera for you. Press the gear icon to view the settings. Now select resolution. You have the option of 4K or 1080. I'm going to choose 4K. Now select field of view. You only have one option, so choose wide. Then finally, select your speed. You have options from 2x to 30x. For this tutorial, I'm going to choose 30x. Here's a list of speed settings and recording times that will show you the approximate final video length based on the speed you've chosen. I'll provide a link to this description below. Here are two clips with the camera mounted on my car. The first is recorded at a speed of 30x and the second clip at 15x. I recorded it for about 5 minutes and this resulted in final clips being 14 seconds in length and 25 seconds in length. In my opinion, the 15x is a much smoother final result. We know we want to use Time Warp when we need one automatically stabilized, ready to use file. So when do you want to use the time lapse option? We want to use the time lapse option when the camera's mounted on a tripod, a gimbal, or any other stable mount. We also would choose the time lapse when we need more control and better quality in editing. If we look at our menu, we have three options. The first option is time lapse video. Like Time Warp, this will produce one file and has limited options in editing, but if you're looking for ease, smaller file size, and less work, choose this option. The second option is Time Lapse Photo. This option produces hundreds to thousands of files depending on the length of the video, but it gives you the best quality and the most flexibility, but it does require software to assemble the time lapse and a little more work. The third option is Night Time Lapse Photo. This option is the same as Time Lapse Photo but gives you some different options like longer shutter speeds and intervals which are required for photographing in low light. So let's take a look at the different setting options for each mode. I'll choose time lapse video. Press the gear icon to view the settings. Like time warp, you have the option of aspect ratio, resolution, and field of view. The only new option is interval. This is how frequent the camera takes a picture. This is where you have to do some math. For simplicity, in the US, the two most common frame rates are 24 and 30 frames per second. For this tutorial, I want 24 frames per second, and I need a 10 second video. So here's the math. We need 10 seconds of footage at 24 frames a second. So 24 frames times 10 equals 240 images. This means if we pick an interval of 5 seconds, it'll take 1200 seconds to complete our time lapse, or 20 minutes. The next mode is time lapse photos. Press the gear icon again. Here we have the option of interval, megapixels, protune, and raw. If you do not see the option of raw, you first have to choose an interval greater than five seconds, which I'll do now. Next, megapixels, choose 12. Then toggle on raw. With raw mode on, you capture both JPEG and raw files. RAW is really the reason why you would choose time-lapse photo mode. RAW files have more information than a JPEG and is the best quality file you can produce. The last option is ProTune. ProTune gives you some exposure choices and processing options like white balance, sharpening, and color. ISO will affect the RAW files and JPEG, but most of the options here deal with the JPEG files. But since this is a basic comparison tutorial, I'm not going to dig into the ProTune settings. The last mode is night lapse photos. Night lapse mode and time lapse photo are the same. The only difference between these two modes is the option to adjust your shutter speed and longer intervals. 